Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Colorado, or the Colorado Congressional District 7 Republican Debate. My name is Brady Johnson, and I am the chairman of the Colorado School of Women's Republicans. First and foremost, I would like to thank everyone for coming, and give a special thanks to the candidates who are joining us for this discussion. Voters face a critically important decision in choosing among these candidates, and the winner of this nomination will run in the upcoming general election against Ed Perlmutter. <laughs> this Democratic representative has consistently voted lockstep with Nancy Pelosi to force the nation into taking unprecedented strides along the ominous path to ever-increasing government power. Democrats have arrogantly flouted political public opinion radically increased debt, and have placed a terrible burden on future generation, generations. Reversing this course will require that leaders take a similarly unprecedented stand in defense of our individual rights. Now, as much as it pains of me to speak of our, uh, ill of our party, we have had far too many Republican leaders that have failed to stop this attrition of our rights. Our nation did not reach this point because the left has given us better ideas and solutions. On the contrary, leftist ideas always fail everywhere they have tried. We face this crisis because conservatives have so far been willing to compromise with the principle of individual rights. It is almost as if our leaders believe the left is a toll collector that must be paid for entrance into the political arena. This toll collector, however, has continued to demand a higher and higher price of admission. In, compromise, in a compromise between individual rights and despotism, it is the individuals that lose and the despots that win. The wind is changing, however, and the next round of elections will surely send a powerful message to Democrats in office. Voters choose wisely, and candidates <laughs> but the battle obviously will not end here. Younger voters must be brought into the fray with social networking and other new powerful media. And it will be up to the grassroots efforts of organizations like College Republicans to facilitate this. I thank you all for coming and attending. And without with further ado, uh, we will proceed. We will begin by allowing each of our candidates to take two minutes to introduce themselves in alphabetical order. We'll be moving from Michael Debbie, then Ryan Frazier, then Mike Sheely, and finally with Mike Sykes. We'll then move into questions or into the question part of the debate. Members of the CSM Republicans Club have come up with eight great questions covering what we felt were most important topics in the selection. We spent about two hours putting these together in one of our meetings, so hopefully you will like them. We will give each candidate one minute to each or to answer each of these questions. At the end, we will allow each candidate a chance to ask their opponent one question for their opponent. So each of the opponents will have a chance to answer. Uh, again, we'll allow it for a minute for each answer. Then we will have them go ahead and do a closing remark, and we will close the night by inviting you all to uh, fill out the uh, straw poll that we have for you, choose the candidate that you want to win, and put it in one of these boxes up here at the end of the night, and we will uh, see who wins. <laughs> and with that, I would like to turn it over to Michael Denning for his two minutes. He said, no, 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 the Federal Reserve is 
fully in under control and blah, blah, blah. That's not true. These are private bankers charging the United States interest for every dollar that's in circulation. That's what my world came crashing down. Uh, oh my gosh, I've been so trusting for so long. Thinking that you know, this is some higher person who's looking out for my best interest. That's not true. He's us. We're him. You know? So I thought, i got to beat this guy. So I like how we started with the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. I will fill in the blank quiz. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic. Republic, thank you, for which it stands. This is supposed to be a republic where the Constitution is the rule of law that applies across the boards, Democrats and Republicans. It's not supposed to be a democracy where as soon as the Democrats get 51%, they can do whatever they want, and the Republicans have to fight to get back to 51% to stop them. So I'm going to get this back to a republic. Uh, one of our guys is going to maybe propose some new ideas, a little more of a traditionalist, like old ideas. Old ideas like follow the limitations of the Constitution. No deficit spending. Every deficit dollar is a charge on the national credit card. Uh, keep the tax man out of your paycheck. Trust people to take a pocket knife on an airplane. Uh, I'm Michael Deering. I'm a, when it comes to the federal government, I'm a hardcore minimalist. And what I bring to the race is logic and engineering. Thank you. 